Hi, my name's Larry Friedkin. I'm the director of Penn State's online Master's of Tax program and the lead for the OMBA tax concentration. First, I'd like to welcome you to the OMBA program and spend a few minutes introducing you to our tax concentration and show why it's an excellent opportunity. In particular, I'll discuss why the tax concentration may be a good fit for you and give a quick overview of the courses in the tax concentration. Why the tax concentration? Real key is it prepares you for the role of the tax professional. In broad terms, there are two areas of tax practice, compliance and consulting. Compliance is tax return preparation and review. You may do some of that early in your career as an introduction to tax or particular clients. However, not many employers are hiring MBAs to do tax returns. As such, your role is much more likely to be a tax consultant, providing advice to clients, often on how to increase post-tax profits. Why is this an important role? With no planning, taxes swallow anywhere from normally one-third to 50% of profits. So planning and advice on how to retain a business's hard-earned income is greatly valued. A career in tax will provide you with the opportunity to assist with strategies to increase post-tax profits. In doing so, the tax advisor becomes an integral part of business strategy and planning that's involved with local, national, and overseas operations. Next, there are also significant career opportunities in the tax field. Employment options may not be the number one reason to pick a particular field, but I think we can all agree that getting a good job does help. Recent and continual tax law changes are providing many opportunities for tax professionals. Growth in the tax field is anticipated to be at a rate of 6 to 12% in the foreseeable future. LinkedIn recently listed tax career opportunities in the top three of all available occupations and provided just as you should not wait until the last minute to file your taxes, you also should not procrastinate if you need to hire a tax professional, as competition will be especially fierce for these employees in the near future. Let's look at our courses. The tax concentration requires three of the four courses you see or nine credits. Taking the tax concentration courses will also satisfy the requirements for a graduate tax certificate. Thus, you would leave Penn State with both your master's in business and a graduate certificate. The first course listed is more foundational, while the final three provide significant depth in the subject matter covered. Let's look first at Accounting 812, Tax Foundations. Students will obtain a solid foundation in understanding the tax law, as well as an introduction to the skills necessary to do research, analyze, and communicate complex tax matters. The course offers in-depth coverage of personal income taxes, these concepts apply to many other areas of the tax law. It will introduce students to a wide variety of tax areas, including business tax, which involves corporate partnership and S corporations, as well as international estate and gift tax, retirement plans, exempt organizations, and state taxes. The course goal is not to make you an expert in all these areas, but rather make you conversant so you will be able to understand and discuss issues with clients or employers. And next, also set you up for a better understanding from future courses 
or learning in these particular areas. Our second course is Accounting 512, Corporate Tax. It involves how to tax a corporation from A to Z, starting with formation, delving into operations, and finally looking at distributions, reorganizations, and liquidations. The course also covers accounting for income taxes, which is the tracking of book to tax differences in the financial statements. Finally, the course includes a practical discussion of providing advice on tra transactional tax implications for corporations. Next, Accounting 823. Accounting 823 covers pass-through taxation. As you may know, a great majority of businesses are taxed as partnerships or on a flow-through basis. These include partnerships, S-corporations, LLCs, and trusts. The course takes a comprehensive look at the relevant law from formation all the way to liquidation, including the complexity of partnerships, which involve special allocations and loss limitations. The overall goal of the course is minimizing tax through knowledge of relevant regulations in order to take advantage of all available tax structures and potential tax breaks. Accounting 826 and 827 are actually two courses, each of them one and a half credits. They're offered the same semester, one after another, so to feel much like a single three credit course to you. The international tax portion covers both inbound and outbound transactions. Inbound transactions involve how foreign individuals and entities are taxed on their U.S. activities. Alternatively, outbound transactions look at how U.S. people and entities are taxed when operating outside U.S. borders. Our state and local tax course will cover state income and sales taxes, as well as jurisdictional and apportionment issues, including the differences and similarities among taxation in the 50 states. For both the international and state and local courses, the emphasis will be on providing you the skills to assist clients and businesses with solving issues relating to business operation and restructuring, with a particular focus on minimizing tax liability. That's our available courses. Overall, let me conclude by saying I'm excited about the tax concentration and see it as a great opportunity to begin one's career as a tax consultant. Let me wish you the best of luck in the master's program, and please feel free to contact me if you have questions or want to talk more about the tax concentration. Thank you.